Okay, brother. Uh, now I want to uh, ask this question. Um, is it is it must or is it should regarding sin? Uh, in other words, uh, as a Christian, must we stop sinning to get saved? Must we stop sinning to keep our salvation? We've already been disputing no. that. We know it's not you must do those things. But the question is, should we? And I'm saying... It's not must, but it is should. We should uh, want, as we discussed in the last video, uh, to um, do what God wants us to do so we're not grieving the Holy Spirit. Uh, so let's go look at a couple of verses regarding this. Uh, uh, Hebrews 12, verses 5 through 11. Verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastisement of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastisement, God dealeth with you as with sons. For which, for what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement whereof all are partakers then are ye bastards and not sons furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which correct us and we gave them reverence shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live for they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastising for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Uh, let's try to relate this whole thing to just, um, um, let's say you're... Um, your children, you have some children. I mean, if, if you just let your children do whatever they want, do all kinds of wrong things, and never even disciplined them, chastised them, corrected them, uh, that's telling us that you don't really love them, right? Right. <laughs> Saying that uh, the 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 fact that you just don't even chastise them means you don't love them. So therefore, if you do love them, you're going to want to correct them and discipline them for their own good. Right? Right. So, um, the, as Christians, when we get off into sin, for our own good, and because God loves us, we get chastised. In other words, there's consequences for our sins. The, w one consequence we don't have to worry about is we will never lose our salvation. It's irrevocable. Amen. But there are other consequences for sin. And let's go on to another verse now. And let's look at uh, Hebrews, I mean Ephesians six twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Was it Ephesians 5.12? Is that it? Ephesians 6.12. Okay, I read that. Okay. It's talking about, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, this, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so who's that talking to? Um, that's talking to the church. Yes. Every Christian... Is going to have struggles. Uh, whether it's just our own flesh that wants to uh, get us off into sin, or whether it's the demonic enemies that want to get us off into sin, there's a struggle. So, you think any Christian can get the victory all the time, every time, and against the flesh and these principalities? No. No. Even Paul said he couldn't do it. And that's the, 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 the next point we want to make is that Paul said, we won't need to read that whole thing, but Paul's just talking about how he 
struggles we talked about it earlier he wanted to do the right thing and he didn't do it he didn't want to do the wrong thing and yet he did it he said oh wretched man that I am but he said it's not me that is doing it it's the sin that lives in me it's my sin nature so um, any Christian that thinks it is actually feasible and possible to get saved and then you're just never going to sin again not only that telling other people they must never sin again or they lose their salvation doesn't understand these things why would we possibly get that kind of admonition or, or, or let's say uh, warning about this spiritual battle why would we get that um, why would we get that warning yeah why is Paul giving us the warning in the church about this we struggle not against the flesh and blood um, he wants us to be prepared because it's a real problem yeah. every Christian has to go through these problems every Christian and I know that, that at the end of all that it talks about the victory we have in Jesus Christ yes so the the uh, or are we going to get be victorious every time no we, we should try we should that's what we said earlier uh, must we stop sinning uh, no we're not going to lose our salvation but should we try to stop sinning yeah let's do the best we can uh, let's not grieve the spirit we want God to be pleased with us uh, but we cannot get the victory every time and sometimes we're going to sin we're not going to lose our salvation uh, but when we do get into sin there are some consequences I'll give you, I'll give you an example uh, well I think you look at David's life right uh, I want to David uh, with, with uh, the whole thing with uh, Bathsheba and all, all of that yeah they were that's a perfect example you know he he, uh, he had a lot of consequences for his sin, but he, he still had a relationship with God. Uh, let's say that if you, you're married, you have children, let's say that you uh, cheated on your wife with a prostitute, okay? And you ended up getting a sexually transmitted disease, and then you gave it to your wife, and, 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 and then you got really sick and lost your health, and then your w wife left you, and then you lost your job and your reputation, and no preacher would even hang around with you because you're you're deemed a hypocrite. Uh, and you see the cost of sin; those are all your consequences of sin. But you never lost your salvation. But don't think there are not consequences for our sins. 